Hi, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Ian, here in a beautiful sunny Beijing on a Sunday morning, heading into a nice busy Sunday afternoon. But I have a dark cloud in my head, and let me tell you why. You see, the YouTuber Ben Coleman, who's a fantastic guy, he put up a video where he asked the question, why is America so mad at China? And he explains it's mainly because of the media. And then... To follow up on that, Jason Lightfoot over at Living in China channel, which again is a fantastic channel, takes on this conversation with a similar titled video. And in that video, he showcases some of the amazing things happening in China to illustrate the point that China is way beyond what your media is telling you. In fact, he also talks about China being way beyond America on many fronts. Jason basically smacks you in the face with the big elephant in the room and that is what Ben was edging around for me that is the mainstream media is lying to you and that's what Jason is saying he's saying he's calling it basically he's saying the media is lying to you in the west anyway Jason gives you a couple of examples and in one of them which always makes me laugh every time Jason shares it is where the BBC took one of Jason's videos and edited it to make it um, black and white to make it a kind of a drab and dreary China, an old-fashioned for me journalistic hit job. That's what they did, basically. Jason called them on it, and it was really funny. And if you want to see that, go to Jason's um, Jason's channel. It's funny. Jason's a funny, funny guy. Wish I had his sense of humour. After Jason, another fantastic um, YouTuber here in China, a channel called Trip Bitten, who is again a really smart guy. He takes this subject even further on his channel, and he drives a deep conversation with an unbelievable knowledge and for me he hits the nail on the head and he calls it perfectly and in doing so he gives an almost apologetic reason for American people being so naive. Trip Bitten, who's American by the way, he basically says that Americans don't know any better because their government is an empire and the empire whose dominance is now under threat from, you know, whatever, the empire needs the people to be ignorant to what is happening elsewhere in the world, hence why the media tells that story. Basically, the empire needs a pliable population so that they do as they're influenced to do, and a part of that outcome, that influence, is for the population to go along with the endless money supply to fund the forever wars. So people really are kept in the dark on purpose. It's a power and money game, and I kind of get that. But Trip Bitten, who is a smart and well-read guy, he finished up with a deeply depressing reflection for me, and that was where he thought that we would see conflict between China and the USA, and he said maybe in the next five, ten years. Now, the thought of that should absolutely terrify us all. And for me, from the UK, to make matters worse, the UK, now probably perceived as one of the most stupidest countries in the world, thanks to the decision-making from the Conservative Party over the last 10, 14 years or so, the UK is even getting its population mentally ready for the thoughts of conflict. And in doing so, they're now talking in the media of conscripting people into the military. That's been the stories in the media recently. And when I say people, I mean the common people conscripting the common people like my son, my daughter, your son, your daughter into the military. This will be our sons, our daughters, definitely not someone from the wealthy, the rich or the well-to-do, that's for sure. If we did have a global war of some sort and we had a military conscription in the UK, then someone please explain to me what that war would be for. What would it be about? Why would we be fighting that war? Someone give me a sensible why. Give me something that reflects the thought of the person on the street, me, the common man, and not something that, that's going to be drip fed to us over the next few years, or which already has been fed to us in the, in the media. And don't give me the usual, it's for democracy and human rights, because I don't think America and the West have that moral high ground anymore given what they've done over the last 20 years. It's definitely been eroded. Honestly, I would really like to know your opinion. What would be the reason for any massive conflict? I would like to know. Put in the con conversation box or the description box below or the comment box. That's the word I'm looking for. Anyway, 
all that talk of conflict on YouTube and the ongoing needless wars that are happening around the world at this moment kind of depressed me a little bit today. So I decided to cheer myself up. And this morning I've come up to my favourite place in the whole of Beijing, one where it really does inspire me. It's early morning, I'm going to get some breakfast and then walk around for the whole day. I'm basically in my happy place. I am in a place called the 798 Art District here in Beijing. And I love it here. It just inspires me everywhere I go, every time I come here. It's always changing. And I hope you enjoy it because I'm going to walk around the rest of the day. Enjoy my day. I'm going to capture some photographs and video and share them with you. And maybe at the end of that, I'll come back and discuss with you something else possibly on that topic of why Americans are so mad at China. Maybe. Anyway, stick with me. I'll share 798 Art District. I think you'll like it. So I think I went from why do Americans hate China all the way through to conscription into the military in the UK. Um, moved quite quick there. <laughs> Don't know why. Anyway, they do come as a partnership. Uh, and as I said, the whole war thing is a bit stupid. We're supposed to be modern cultures, but yet we're back in fighting wars. Now I'm a passive, so I really just don't want that to happen. I guess the war may come via Europe or possibly the Middle East. But I know what the American media will do, and they'll string a few countries together and call it a new axis of evil. We see it, we see it coming, and it's crazy that we fall for it. Anyway, I'm all about peace. I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of this show. This is a fantastic show, it's a robot show, Robot in Art. I'm going to see three today, three shows. One, this one, another one which is about um, the modern masterpieces, some Picasso and so on, and then another one about ancient dragons in art, possibly one after that, but there's plenty to see in this area. So if you want to see it, stick with me. Anyway, enjoy this.
So I think I said I was going to come back and discuss this subject of war with you further. But actually, I'm not going to do that because I'm enjoying myself too much. The 798 Art District here in Beijing is a fantastic place to come and experience and just get inspiration from so many talented artists, musicians and and you name it. It's just a, it's a real creative area. So I'm not going to let that whole discussion about war spoil the rest of my day. I'm going to walk around more, share it with you, go for a beer, some food, might even stay here right into the end of the evening because that's the way I roll. Anyway, come with me if you want to see more <laughs> of 798.
Hi guys, this is me, Ian here in Beijing City, enjoying the 798 Art District. Thoroughly recommend it. If you ever get a chance and you come to Beijing, come here. Anyway, it's been a long day. I've had a fantastic time. Had my beer and my food and the usual. Heading for a taxi. But as always, saying to you, take care of yourself, take care of your family, take care of your community, and peace out. Catch you soon. Ha, 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 ha.